So here we go, we're back for another team selection video, and this time it's the penultimate round of the tournament. The competition is really hotting up now, and with some big games to come this weekend. Before we get into it, I just want to thank you all again for subscribing. We're so close to a thousand subscribers now, which is absolutely crazy. 77% of you are still not subscribed, so just tell me why. Go down there now, it's free, click that button, and you'll be kept up to date with all the latest fancy rugby, because this is a time when it becomes interesting. So without further ado, let's get in to my team for round four. Starting off in the front row, we have Ty Furlong, George Turner and Ellis Genge. Now looking at the Ireland and England game, I've gone with the strong ball carriers, as I believe the game will be ferocious and whoever wins the game line will have the real advantage. So that's why I've picked some of the hardest props in the game in Furlong and Genge. I think I may have even picked Genge for the whole tournament now. And George Turner is of course against Italy and I'm hoping for some robust carrying and maybe a try from a driving line out. I'm still hoping and got my fingers crossed that my hooker can come good and score a try. On to the second rows and we have Will Rollins and Courtney Laws for the second week running. Laws is of course at 6, so I expect him to have a usually brilliant defensive game, not allowing the Irish ball carriers to get into the game as much. And he needs to be because Ireland have some decent ball carriers, even on the bench too. And Rollins is just a solid pick. He's probably going to get through over 15 tackles against France, so he'll rack up points there. And that's really all I'm hoping for. As we know, second rows aren't the greatest in fantasy, but they're solid nonetheless. In the back row, I've gone pretty big with Sam Simmons, Gregory Aldry and Josh van der Fleer. Looking at the England and Ireland game, Simmons and van der Fleer are probably the most dynamic ball carriers for their respective sides, and each team will want to get them on the ball whenever possible. Van der Fleer has already made 155 metres with 38 tackles this tournament. If Ireland do go on to win, then this might be where they unlock England. Same for Simmons really. He's been used off the bench mainly, but even then he still gets on the ball and is one of England's best ball carriers. And as for Aldry, well, you know he's a mainstay in my team now. He does everything so consistently, the only thing missing is probably a try or two, but I do believe that this could be the game. The halfback pairing is Antoine Dupont and Johnny Sexton. Dupont picks himself. I can't really see another 9 to pick. Maybe Ali Price this weekend? Let me know down in the comments any of your 9 suggestions that you're looking to pick. Dupont is surely going to thrive off the Welsh crowd. He always seems to perform brilliantly on big occasions. And as for Sexton, well he orchestrates that Irish team so well and he's very good at kicking points for goal too. Even though Carberry is on the bench, Sexton will want to remain on the pitch. Maybe a slight worry in the back of my mind is his injury he had a few weeks ago, but I do put faith in him to stay and maybe clinch it for Ireland. In the centres, I've gone with the two French players in Fiku and Mofana. I regretted not taking Fiku last week, so he's definitely in my team this week. Just like Dupont, Fiku always performs against the big teams, so I'm hoping for a good return this week. And as for Mofana, He's on the wing this week again, along with Villiers. I expect a few decent carries from him and some good metres made, and hopefully another try to go with it. But it will be tough against that Welsh back three. England only managed to score one against them, but I do back France to do a lot better than England. And finally, for my starting team, in the back three is all the Scottish players. So I've got Darcy Graham, Kyle Stain, and Stuart Hogg. And yes, he's my captain. Who else would I pick this week? Now, first of all, I tried picking my team earlier and I couldn't find Carl Stain anywhere. So they've clearly just added him in now. I was beginning to get a little worried. But for the back three, there's not too much to say. Scotland are against Italy and I expect Scotland to go out there and prove how good they are, as they showed against England. They were below par against Wales and France, 
and I'll now want to change all that with a solid win. And yes, Stuart Hogg is captain. I guess he could decide between any of these back three, or even George Turner at hooker. But Hogg is probably the safe pick. Even though I have some catching up to do in my mini leagues, Hogg is the man for me. As for my bench, well, once again, I'm deliberating on my super sub. Right now I've got Dombran, but I know he's had an injury lately, so I'm dubious on him. Another option for me is Jack Conan. I mentioned him in my last video, being an outsider pick, and his power off the bench is going to be crucial against England. Dombran and Conan will basically do similar roles, but it's deciding who will make more of an impact. Right now, I'm sticking with Dombran. And the other two subs are Josh Adams and Andrew Conway. I think those two have the ability to score tries even if their side isn't in the game. They can make something of nothing and that's why they're in my team. So that's the end of the team selection video. If there are any changes I will of course update you guys as I always do. But it hasn't worked out for me lately changing my team so late. So maybe I'll just stick with it. Let me know what you guys are doing down in the comments below and which players you're looking to target. Remember to subscribe and I wish you guys the best of luck and I'll see you in the next one.